Now, the Engineering Board of Kenya, that's EBK, has announced plans to register over 10,000 professional engineers by 2027. The board has also raised concern over the growing issue of unqualified individuals, warning that quack engineers continue to pose a serious threat to public safety and infrastructure development. Our reporter, Denis Otino, has the details. The Engineers Board of Kenya aims to more than double the number of registered professionals from the current 4,000 engineers, ensuring that only qualified individuals operate in the country's construction and infrastructure sectors. The target we have as a board is to make sure that we have uh, more than 10,000 engineers as professional engineers so that they will be rendered available in the market and in developers and um, uh, the accounting governments and anybody who wants services of engineers, they will be rendered available. And in fact, an ideal case is we should have a professional engineer in every location. However, even as the board works to expand the number of professionals, concerns remain over unlicensed practitioners who continue to take on engineering projects, sometimes leading to disastrous consequences such as collapsed infrastructure. Of course, there's also the issue of ethics. So as a board, we do carry out um, disciplinary issues on a few of our errant engineers. But the vast majority of the problem comes from persons who don't have the competencies to carry out the work that they are doing. And so we've seen in the past uh, cases of one or two bridges collapsing. To address this, EBK is pushing for fast tracking of laws and policies to protect the profession. While the Engineers Act already provides clear guidelines, additional regulations such as the Development Control Bill are seen as necessary to strengthen oversight, particularly at the county level. So I think that is quite uh, clear. But you find now when it comes to operations, I think we have other enabling instruments which need to be put in place, including looking at how do we staff, who do we staff at the counties, who are heading the engineering function. Are they licensed engineers? The officials spoke during the launch of a graduate engineers training program in partnership with the Kenya Bureau of Standards. The initiative aims to help young engineers transition into fully licensed professionals. Uh, these fields are very important uh, in the development of the uh, Kenyan economy, looking at the type of standards that uh, these uh, professions are developing together with the industry and looking at the testing, the meteorology services that we offer, as well as other conformity services such as uh, inspection and quality assurance in the industry. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV. Now, the Communications Authority of 